Right, this is the second video on the grade 12 chapter work energy and power and today we're going to apply what we learned in video one where we learned about the definition of work done on an object by a force and we're going to do two worked examples so the first worked example is found on page nine of your notes so you'll see question five is the one i want you to to complete so pause the video and attempt the question and then come back and see if you got the right answer okay since you've tried it we now do the worked example we've got an applied force here of 500 newtons acting on an object over 20 meters and at the same time there's a frictional force opposing its motion so the displacement is to the right of 20 meters but this force over here is not acting parallel to the displacement so the first thing we need to do is uh, resolve that force into its components so let's create that horizontal component call it fx and according to the definition we need to know the component of the force parallel to the displacement and we need to multiply that by the displacement so the work done by the 500 newton force would be its horizontal component multiplied by the displacement because that's acting parallel to the displacement and if we use trig, we can say that if x is f cos 25 multiplied by the displacement. So there's the force we're after. It's 500 cos 25 multiplied by the 20 meters. So if we put all of that into the calculator, we get an answer of 9063.08 and you'll remember that the unit for work done is the joule. So that's positive work being done and that's that amount of energy would be added to the roller but at the same time we've got a frictional force acting on the roller so let's calculate the work done by that force and friction is already parallel to the displacement so we'll just use the 380 newtons but remembering that it acts in the opposite direction to the displacement so the work done by friction If we take to the right to be positive, then friction is acting to the left. So negative 380 newtons, which acts over 20 meters. And that gives you an answer of 7,600 joules, negative work being done. So what does this mean? That as the roller moved to the right, 7,600 joules of energy is being removed from the system here and dissipated as heat and sound energy. The next uh, question is to find the work done by the gravitational force. So if we go back to our diagram, we'll see that the gravitational force acts perpendicular to the displacement so the gravitational force doesn't have a component in the direction of the displacement so the work done by the gravitational force is then zero right so let's go on to a second worked example this one's not in your notes but we can attempt it. What have we got here? We've got a 200 Newton force 
being applied to a box. At the same time, we've got friction opposing its motion. The box moves 10 meters, and you need to find the work done by the applied force, the work done by friction, and ultimately, how much kinetic energy will the box have when it reaches the 10 meter mark? So those are the three questions. I want you to pause the video and try them. Right, now that you've tried them and you want to have a look at your answers, let's calculate the work done by the applied force. So you'll notice that the applied force is not in the direction of the displacement. So again, we need to find that horizontal component. Fx again. And that's the one that acts parallel to the displacement. So we're going to use him to find the work done by the applied force. So here we go. It's Fx multiplied by the displacement. And if we use alternate angles here, this would also be 20 degrees. And that means that Fx again will be F times cos 20 multiplied by the displacement. F this time is 200 newtons multiplied by cos 20 multiplied by the 10 meters and if we put that into the calculator Get 1,879.39 joules of work being done by that applied force and again that's positive work adding to the mechanical energy of the box but at the same time we've got friction that's removing energy from the box friction is already parallel to the displacement so we'll just use it as it is so the work done by friction is the frictional force multiplied by the displacement. Negative 50, if we take to the right to be positive, friction acts to the left, this is over 10 meters. So while the box slides 10 meters to the right, 500 joules of work is being done by friction and 500 joules of energy is being removed. So we come to the third question, how much kinetic energy will the box have when it reaches the 10 meter mark? Well, we've got positive 1,879.39 joules of work being added to the system. And at the same time, we've got 500 joules of work of energy being removed. So in total, we've got 1,000 379.39 joules of energy of mechanical energy going into the system so that would be an increase in mechanical energy and the mechanical energy would be seen in the form of kinetic energy so the kinetic energy of the box would increase by 1379.39 newtons uh, joules and because it had nothing in the beginning, that would mean that that's the value of the kinetic energy that it has at the end here. It had nothing in the beginning. Its kinetic energy was zero, started from rest, and now it has 1,379.39 joules.